Hello everyone, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to this video on how to arrange your golf bag. Now, on the floor in front of me, I've got everything I'd want to carry with me today out on the golf course and I'm going to put it all in the bag in the order that I would have it. And I've found that over the years, this gives me the best access to everything I need while I'm out on the golf course. So I'm going to start with my putter and my wedges. Now, I have a four-way divider in my golf bag, which makes this a slightly easier process than if I had more than that. And I put all of my wedges in the putter in the bottom well, which is quite big. But you're only allowed to carry 14 clubs. I've got one too many wedges. I've got a wedge that I use to practice. So I'm going to leave that behind. Uh, next one is my mid iron. So uh, nine, eight, and seven. They go in the next compartment. Four, five, and six in here. And then my woods, all of my graphite shafted clubs go in at the top end of the bag. And that just orders the bag nicely so that when I'm searching for an iron iron, I'm not looking endlessly. I know roughly where it's going to be before I even look at my bag. So it just makes getting around the golf course that bit quicker and easier. Uh, next up, I'm going to look at golf gloves. So I'd put the golf gloves in this flat pocket on the side of the bag here. This means that I can keep my gloves nice and flat so they don't sort of crease up too much. I'd also carry a couple of wet weather gloves. So they come in pairs, right and left. It means that when you're Playing in bad weather, they offer excellent traction. So I'd also carry those and I put those in that same pocket uh, by the side of the bag there. Next one, golf balls. So I use, for golf balls, I use the big pocket at the bottom of the bag here. I tend to carry quite a few golf balls with me. That says quite a lot about my, my game. I am prone to losing the odd one or two. So I like the big pocket for golf balls. And in that pocket, I would also store sunglasses and sun cream. So they both go in there. Uh, next up, some of the really important items that you need to carry, you need to have a sort of consistent access to. So things like ball marker, tee pegs, Sharpie, uh, pitch mark repairer, which is something everybody should carry, and plasters. And I would put them all in this smaller pocket at the top of the bag. So the bigger pocket for golf balls, the smaller pocket for the smaller items, they all go in there. And after I've played around golf, I take all my tees out of my pocket and I put them in that pocket, it's something worth remembering because there's nothing worse than constantly having tees in your pocket when you're not playing golf. Um, next up, water bottle on the side of the bag here. Now, of course, there are going to be some bigger items that you're going to want to carry with you in case the weather changes during a round of golf today. The weather is uh, fairly chilly, changeable, so I'm carrying a gilet. I also always carry a bucket hat, so I tend to play golf in glasses and when it does rain, having that protection from your glasses is really important. Other, um, other golfers who wear glasses will know. Uh, I'll put the, um, the gilet that goes in the big pocket here. Obviously, if it is going to rain, that's where your waterproofs are going to go. Uh, next up is this smaller pocket here, which is for your valuables. So I've got my phone and my wallet here. They'll both slide in here and you'll know it's the valuables pocket because usually it's got a slightly softer lining to that pocket. Uh, and finally, the last two items are towel and uh, range finders. So my towel clips on to this clip here at the top of the bag, as does the range finder, which means that I've got good access to both of those things, which I'm going to be using pretty much on every hole. So that's it. That's how I would um, organize my golf bag before I go out and play. 